If we take a triad and add another third to the stack of notes, the interval between this added note and the root is a seventh. For this reason, four note chords built from stacked thirds are called seventh chords. Seventh chords are categorized based on the quality of the triad they contain, plus the quality of the interval of the seventh that the fourth note creates with the root. For example, if we start with a G major triad and add a major seventh above the root, G, that's an F sharp, this creates a G major major seventh chord, which we usually just call a G major seventh chord. Here's another major seventh chord, an E flat major triad plus a major seventh above E flat, which creates an E flat major seventh chord. In lead sheet notation, we usually write MAJ7 after the root, but you might also see a triangle in some jazz scores or just a capital M. If we start with the same major triads, but add minor sevenths instead of major sevenths, we get what some people call a major minor seventh chord. Most people just call this a dominant seventh chord, since it is the seventh chord that you get when you stack thirds above the dominant scale degree in either major or minor. The dominant seventh chord is the most common seventh chord in most Western tonal styles. This is probably why the lead sheet notation is just the root and the number seven. There are three other types of seventh chord you'll commonly encounter in tonal music. The minor minor seventh chord, or just minor seventh chord, contains a minor triad plus a minor seventh. This is the only common seventh chord with a minor triad at its base. In lead sheet notation, we write a lowercase m followed by a seven. Jazz scores sometimes use a minus sign instead of the little m. The last two seventh chord types begin with a diminished triad. A diminished triad plus a minor seventh creates a diminished minor seventh chord, more commonly known as a half diminished seventh chord. Lead sheet notation for half diminished seventh chords involves a circle with a line through it, followed by the number seven. Jazz lead sheets more often use the nomenclature minor seven flat five for this chord. Finally, a diminished triad plus a diminished seventh creates a diminished diminished seventh chord, otherwise known as a fully diminished seventh chord. Fully diminished seventh chords arise in a minor key when you stack thirds above the raised leading tone. The lead sheet notation for a fully diminished seventh chord involves the root, then the little circle, and then the seven. So these are the five main types of seventh chords. Major seventh chords, dominant seventh chords, minor seventh chords, half diminished seventh chords, and fully diminished seventh chords. As with triads, seventh chords in inversion, that is, seventh chords whose bass note is not the root, are notated both with slash notation and with figured bass symbols. Let's look at this B minor seventh chord. In root position, this chord's lead sheet notation would be just B little m7. Recall that the figured bass numerals list the intervals above the bass note as a stack, with the largest interval on the top of the stack. Here, we would get 753 as the full figured bass symbols, since this chord contains a third, fifth, and seventh above the bass note. As with triads, we usually use an abbreviated form of the figured bass. Here we would just write seven for the root position seventh chord. A first inversion B minor seventh chord has the chord's third in the bass.
The third is D, so the lead sheet notation would be just B little m7 slash D. The full figured bass here is 6, 5, 3, but we abbreviate that to just 6, 5. The second inversion of this chord has the chord's fifth in the bass. Here the fifth is F sharp, so our lead sheet notation would be B minor seven slash F sharp. The full figured bass is six, four, three, abbreviated to just four, three. Finally, there is a third inversion of seventh chords where the seventh of the chord is in the bass. The lead sheet notation for this chord would be B minor 7 slash A. The full figured bass is 6, 4, 2, and the abbreviated figured bass is just 4, 2. Now you're just going to have to remember these abbreviated figured bass symbols. It doesn't take that long to memorize them. Here's a handy way of memorizing them. You're just counting down from 7 with an extra 4 thrown in there. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oops, 2. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, 2. 